I was going to say Patreon, but I got interrupted. Yes, some of these stories will be on Patreon because YouTube would not take kindly to them. This is an original book, Shifting Views, a collection of shifter theme, themed poems and short stories written by A.P. Morrison. They're all originals, just so you know. White Petals and Bleeding Hearts. The guardians grow weary of Durance unending. Their charge lays unchanging, nearly forgotten, fate unbending. A meager few have braved the challenge. Their bones scatter the floor, the echoes of their cries sounding no more. Comes now another, more curiosity to fulfill. The guardian's hope of a final rest may be here, yet they fear. The figure comes, brave countenance, cape swirling, steady hand, unflinching eye. No doubt implied this time, surely. Deathly pale, beauty rare, in repose without a care. Gallant one doffs a glove, a single prick brings drops of blood. Soft white lips, now stained in red, a lover's bond, she is fed. Fresh color runs across pale skin. More yud, more blood yet she drinks in. The hand she takes to stem the flow. Time does fly, time does to go. To rise from death in love remade. Night is nigh. The moon is low. The guardians weep, their tired eyes close. Peace of the just, movements cease, they fall to dust. Weapons are, are all left to rust. Where have you been? Seen at a distance, again and again, slowly coming nearer. But when, but when will waiting end? I can hear you now, but do you even notice? You never look at me when I look at you. You are laughing, I hear the wondrous sound. Whenever I cry, I wish you'd come and hold my hand. Come and sit beside me, or together let us stand. I need you, I miss you. What is your name? The hive mind. The problem with being someone with a good imagination is that you can believe nearly anything if it sounds like a good story. So when someone tells you that they are not quite human, you tend to role play, cause play. Let it go. Being faced with someone who isn't role-playing and isn't a delusional psychotic is rare. 
disturbing, but rare. Michael is that rare exception. We met on a ch by chance on a flight to Portland. We started talking. Something clicked, so we went to dinner after we landed. Nice. He went to his hotel. I went home. All the way to, to my... All good to... Sometimes I can't speak. All good to my way of thinking. No pressure. Pleasant evening. Pleasant parting. Numbers and all that done without a fuss. General consensus to meet up again in the next day or two based on work and such. He was hanging around for a couple of weeks. Now here is where most people would talk about all the weird ass dreams they had or the craving to be with but I'm not going to bother. The details didn't matter. Suffice it to say I was not at my best at work the next morning. Travel tired and mostly sleep deprived. The usual when Michael called about a late lunch, early dinner, I told a co-worker I was taking my major headache home and scampered. Nice kind of job if you can get it, right? So, anyway, I took off and ended up in the restaurant at Michael's hotel. Nice place upscale hotel. Same for the restaurant. Michael looked good. All shiny. I liked I likely looked like I was drugged backward through a barbed wire after a lousy start to the day. Got the stink eye from the hostess, got sympathy from Michael. He offered to cut things short if I needed to go and rest. All that considerate stuff. He'd make sure I got home safe, etc. I, of course, waved all that aside because of the weird ass dreams. Wanted to sit and talk. He was all happy because the interview he was here for went well. He got the job and would be moving to the area. Exciting for everyone, right? Woohoo! We ate, then he arranged for the dessert to be delivered to his suite and we returned retired to the privacy and quiet. We talked about his moving, his new job, when many figures left the decimal for his compensation. We even kissed a few times. Finally, exhausted, I was helped to bed in the second bedroom of the suite. It never occurred to me to ask about that. The next morning there was a note along with a pile of boxes on one side of the bed. Toiletries, makeup, fresh clothing. Wow! Somehow this only pleased me. There was never a question about when, or how, or why. Not even a simple, what the fuck? There are times now that when I can think about it, I wonder how this got by me. I'm, I mean, I'm not actually an airhead. 
All of this should have had me doing research, asking questions, poking and prodding. prodding. I still shake my head when I think about it, or would do if I could. Be that as it may, this went on for about a week. My staying with him and tending and him tending to all my needs. Yes, even the physical ones that I dreamed of. I was not disappointed and spent many wonderful hours over our time together. My roommates got concerned over my continued absence. My employers and co-workers started looking for me, or so I'm told. The cops were called, my cell phone traced. That may finally have been how they found me. Not that I'm complaining about being found, but I'm not thrilled with the end results. You see, Michael was supposed to take me with him to safety so that there would be nothing like this situation. Unfortunately, car accidents can happen and anyone, while his kind is long lived, they are not impervious to damage. Being decapitated by a semi-truck does tend to crimp the survival potential. So now I'm in a facility. My body parts changed to his shifter form. Our offspring are born looking human because that part of me remains unshifted. I'm fed through tubes. The babies are helped to birth by personnel that I never see and then taken away. I don't even see the children. I've lost track of the number long ago. Of course, I tried to keep count, but it would be like a queen, ant, or bee how many, asking the queen ant or bee, how many eggs she had laid over the same kind of time period. Don't ask me how it all works. Michael was to explain all that while we waited for our transport to a safe house with the hive. He had he had been. I don't know how, how or why, but I feel like the hive has tracked me down recently. So I may be telling the military adjutant here goodbye. I hope. I'm very. I very much doubt those infants already taken will be rescued. I, ho I can hope this rescue will happen before this brood is completed. It would be such a waste not to have Michael's contribution to the hive, at least in some part. Oh yes, you may want to ask your last questions. If you are still here when the hive arrives, I can't guarantee your safety. You could end up being part of the be breeding program one way or another. I mean, we always need food. Hurry along now. I hear the beat of the wings of the hive. Dragonstone, green jasper with red inclusions, pretty minerals, some call it bloodstone, others dragon blood, lovely patterns, too bad the stones are alive. Too bad the stones don't care 
if you are too. To live, I must defend myself. Defending myself will make dragons more rare. To free myself, then thee or me must die. I choose thee for that sacrifice. My apologies, dragon. Rare beauty is a shame to wait. Don't mind me, I'm flipping pages looking for, looking for the next one I marked. Actually, at this part, at this point, I may talk about writing the books. I've got a novella that's based on a romance between an elf and a human. A little time travel. A little bit of, you know, science. Real science. It could happen. And then I decided to do this short story collection and it was fun and some of the poetry is fun some of the poetry is weird the story in the novella has a habit of being quite spicy So, I've got one more that I want to read out of the short stories. It's called Don't Sing That Song. Complex projects must be kept quiet, especially when the project is considered unlawful, unethical, unwise or whatever other unwords you care to apply. No, I'm not a descendant of Frankenstein or any of any generation or even Frankenfurter. If my assistant doesn't stop singing that blasted song, we are well beyond seven days set seven nights, weeks, months, years. A few more rounds of that chorus and I'll be looking for another assistant. I can't tell you what I was thinking when I started this. I believe I was well and truly wasted. A large chunk of my overly endowed don't give me that look I'm talking about financially. Family all went at once on a sunken yacht in a storm. There is now more money than good sense left in my life. Why not do something stupid and support the underground economy? Building a person let's be inclusive, is tricky. Unfortunately, there's also the ick factor. Some of the required parts have been delivered in less than optimal condition from shadier than usual merchants that husband snuck in. Some of the parts have been delivered in less than optimal condition from shadier than usual merchants. It's not like you can Google or Yelp them for reviews after all.
Do I think I will ever find the right combinations? It could happen. I'm not going to hold my breath, though. It's become more of a hobby than a pursuit over time. Don't preach. I know it's disgusting. I have met some interesting people this way, though. Some of the paranormal and preternatural types have, well, flocked to me since I don't judge. We have quite the community here. There's a small group so dedicated to the projects they volunteered materials. No, not their, no, their own materials, not leftovers. That would not work too bragging after ripping and chomping. Is something wrong? You look a bit pale. A little glassy-eyed. Maybe we should sit and talk. Hopefully you will have enough information for the article. Look, the staff are setting out some sandwiches for lunch. Why don't we grab a bite and... Wait, where are you going? No, no, not that door. Well, that's going to leave a mark. If he's lucky, the fall broke his neck. Ah, uh, sounds like not so much. Hey, Jonesy, turn up the music, please. Yeah, I'm not going to listen to that fool. No, I didn't get a use release from him. He was supposed to be doing an article on our work. He panicked. Shut up, you fool! Yes, dropped into the wolf pit on full moon. Never mind. I don't hear him anymore. Get someone to get rid of his ride. Jonesy, Gabe is singing that song again. Please put him in the recycler. And seven nights. And I can make you... Hey! Ow! Jonesy, let go. No! Bye, Gabe. I'd like to say it's been fun, but I don't like to lie. Jonesy shut and locked the iron hatch. And I think I'm going to be finished there for the time being. Tell me what you thought. Tell me what you think. I'm not a great reader probably already figured that out, did we? Anyway, if you want to hear more about the books, you can check me out on Oh. There we go again. The brain is gone. I can never remember the name of that thing. Anyway, if you want some spicier stories, let me know. Like I said, they will not be on this particular channel. I don't need that kind of trouble. Not from YouTube. Way. My husband thinks it's time for dinner. I suppose I should go eat it. Have fun.